For almost a year, the state's top prosecutor concealed his own investigators' reports that would have showed Arizonans that there was no evidence of election fraud in 2020. Now that Republican Attorney General Mark Burnovich has left office, his Democratic successor, Chris Mays, released the reports today. Team 12's Bram Resnick is joining us in studio with more on these bombshell reports. Bram? Yeah, keep in mind that former Attorney General Mark Burnovich was trying to woo Republican primary voters last year in his failed run for the U.S. Senate. That was at the same time his office was investigating allegations of election fraud peddled by Republicans. Brnovich now faces accusations that his silence put elected officials and election workers in danger. As he was leaving office last November, former Republican Attorney General Mark Brnovich seemed to find his voice. Horse and that's what it is. Most of it's horse and I've been trying to scrape, scrape it off my shoes. For the first time during that election year, Arizona's top prosecutor was calling out election deniers. We're now learning that Brnovich's own investigators had told him months earlier there was no truth to claims of election fraud. These three documents all tell the same story. This 24-page report in March 2022 on the election investigation debunked virtually all claims of wrongdoing, but Brnovich never made the findings public. The next month, in April 2022, a top AG's office investigator refuted several fraud claims in a draft interim report being prepared for Republican Senate President Karen Fan. Brnovich didn't change anything in the final report. And in September 2022, an election review summary distilled the results of 430 investigations, consuming 10,000 hours of work. Accusations of widespread fraud were refuted, not supported by any factual evidence. Again, Brnovich never made that public. It is clear cut from this. He intentionally misled the state of Arizona on the results of this investigation. He ignored the findings of his own detectives and investigators. He, he actually said the opposite of things that they told him were true. Chandler attorney Thomas Ryan represents a former elections worker who was confronted by an armed man at her home. It's done a lot of damage to the innocent lives in the state of Arizona, and he needs to be investigated for this. And this is far from over. Maricopa County board members, one of the main targets of election deniers, are outraged by this news. The board meets in closed session Thursday morning to decide on their next steps. Expect more calls for the state bar to yank Mark Brnovich's law license. Meantime, Brnovich could not be reached for comment. Let's send it back to you.